Hey fashion flies, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today we're going to be using this really beautiful pink Sherpa fabric along with our measuring tape which is essential and our glittery scissors which are essential and our tailor's chalk which didn't even show up so I used the fabric marker instead as you guys will see. And I also used a robe I already have to create a pattern for the robe and we're going to just start with the robe first so let's get started using my measuring tape i'm going to measure down about 48 inches on the fold and extend my pattern to that same length and just cut it out using the front piece of the pattern and the back piece with the same exact measurements I'm also going to make sure I snip a little slit to make sure I know where my sleeve will end so everything aligns perfectly. Before I sew my front and back pieces of my robe together, I want to take two rectangle pieces like this and fold them right sides together and do a straight stitch. And these are going to be my loops that my waist belt will go through for my robe. Really easy to make. All you have to do is Sew this as you'll see I'm doing now and flip it right side out and stick it in between the right sides of the front and back of the rope. Here I'm just measuring down about 7 inches underneath where my sleeve will end so that I can make sure I put the loops symmetrically on both sides of the rope.
Now I'm going to zigzag and overlock stitch all around the pin areas of my rope. Because my original pattern was for a short sleeve robe, to extend it, all I'm going to do is take it all the way down to 24 inches to give me the oversized look that I want. And I want to go ahead and do that for both sleeves and cut them out. Now that I'm done, all I have to do is pin right sides together and do a zigzag stitch down both sides. To connect the sleeve to the robe, I'm just going to insert it right sides together into the armhole, lining up the seams together first, and then pinning everything else around and doing a zigzag and overlock stitch all the way around that. Alright, so for my waistband, I'm just going to cut out a long strip that is on the fold and it's going to be 58 inches long and about 3 inches wide and then I'm going to pin it together, right sides of course, and go to my sewing machine and do a straight stitch all the way around, closing up both ends and leaving an opening in the middle to reverse it right side out. is right side out I'm going to use a slip stitch and close up the opening on the waist belt and I'm all done with the rope the tank top is honestly the easiest part I'm just taking a tank top that fits me well and I actually shortened it a bit it was longer and I'm pretty much just going to cut around it. And I'm going to make sure the front of it has a lower neckline than the back. And I'm going to just pin it right sides together and stitch it up with a zigzag stitch. And the shirt's all done. Alright, the shorts are actually super easy too guys, so I'm going to start by just using some leggings that I folded up to give me that biker short look. 
and I'm going to cut a little room for seam allowance and I'm going to do this for the front and back piece. Here I'm just going to pin them right sides together on the leg area only. Do not touch that crotch area yet. <laughs> but I'm just going to sew that part down. And when I get to the crotch area, it's going to be because I inserted the leg right sides together with the other leg. And pinned it all the way around. And then I take it back to the machine, do a zigzag stitch all around that U shape that we get in our pants. You know. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. For the waistband, I'm going to take this soft waistband elastic, <laughs> I guess it's for waistbands, you know, and then I'm going to go ahead and use it to measure around my waist to where it's going to land to make sure it's snug and it fits, and that's what I'm going to use to decide how wide my waistband is going to be. I'm going to sew my waistband right sides together to my pants, leaving an opening for my elastic. Lastly, I'm going to feed my elastic through my waistband and close up the opening and I'm all done. <laughs> 